The film opens in a secret research laboratory where Sarah is surrounded by alien-like technology. John repeatedly asks her cryptic questions about opening a door. Sarah, possessing telepathic abilities, communicates that while she can indeed open the door, a powerful force is preventing her from doing so. Suddenly, John perceives other unknown individuals also imprisoned in an unidentifiable location, their screams echoing through the lab. As a sense of dread builds, the scene abruptly shifts to a mysterious awakening. Sarah and another individual, Zack, are ensnared by tentacle-like creatures. Despite their desperate struggles, they cannot break free. There is no indication of how they arrived in this situation or where they are. However, it soon becomes apparent to the audience that they are captives aboard an alien spaceship. As the scene unfolds, two more individuals, Rhonda and John, are revealed to be aboard the alien spacecraft. Rhonda, overcome with fear and disorientation, begins to scream uncontrollably, attracting the attention of the tentacled creature. The more she screams, the tighter the tentacles grip her, until she eventually loses consciousness due to the intense pressure. Meanwhile, Perry, another captive, appears initially startled but quickly comprehends their dire situation, having heard tales of alien abductions. He manages to calm the distraught Rhonda, who has no recollection of how she ended up aboard the spaceship. The group now finds themselves facing the unknown, unsure of their fate and the intentions of their alien captors. In the midst of their confusion, a Russian girl named Alex appears, also a captive aboard the spaceship. Fear washes over her, and she begins to sweat as the reality of her situation sinks in. Among the group, she recognizes Zack, a pop star who mysteriously disappeared 15 years ago. The revelation shocks everyone as they grapple with the idea that Zack has been missing for so long, yet is still alive. John questions Alex further, and she makes a startling claim. She believes she is from the year 2008. Perry, however, suspects that her intoxication may be clouding her judgment, as he believes the current year is 2050. Zack adds another layer of mystery by insisting that he is from 2001. The group's confusion deepens as Rhonda recalls the year 1977 and John remembers 1959. It becomes clear that they have all been abducted from different time periods. As the realization sinks in, their nerves heighten and their worries intensify. Just then, a repulsive, snake-like creature wraps itself around Rhonda's face, adding another layer of horror to their captivity. As Rhonda struggles, she suddenly finds herself trapped in a coffin, facing her worst fear. The alien creature has forced her into a terrifying memory, causing her to panic and scream uncontrollably. As her fear intensifies, the alien creatures seem to gain more control over her. However, Sarah, utilizing her telepathic abilities, intervenes and rescues Rhonda from her nightmare. She guides Rhonda towards pleasant memories, specifically the moments Rhonda shared with her grandmother. But soon, a shocking twist occurs. Rhonda realizes that the figure of her grandmother has been an imposter, an alien creature in disguise. In the memory, Sarah disappears, and Rhonda is forced to relive the traumatic flashback once again. The strain of the experience causes the past version of Sarah to faint. In a fascinating turn of events, as the past Sarah regains consciousness, the future Sarah also comes to her senses. The connection between their consciousnesses across time suggests a complex and intriguing mystery that the group must unravel. Rhonda pleads with the alien, begging to be allowed to return home. But the more she begs, the more the alien's control over her grows, until finally it takes her last breath. Witnessing her tragic death sends shivers through everyone's soul. In the midst of their shock, John has a sudden realization. The alien is feeding off their fear, harvesting energy from it. Whenever someone becomes more nervous, the tentacles of the creature glow with energy. And when they refuse to be afraid, the creature resorts to invading their minds, forcing them to relive terrifying experiences, ensuring they feel fear again. This grim discovery leads to the understanding that humans are nothing more than fuel for the alien's energy needs, explaining why they've been abducted. John also shares his own involvement, revealing his work with the UFO department. Years ago, he encountered a UFO in Mexico and learned that it could only be controlled through telepathy. This link also provided energy to the craft, allowing the aliens to convert their thoughts into kinetic energy, powering their ships. They also uncovered information about another crash site in Pine City Valley a few years back. This prompted an immediate investigation into the mutagenic effects on the local population. Among those examined was a pregnant woman whose baby displayed unseen abnormalities. The woman was swiftly taken to a laboratory where it was revealed that she was none other than Sarah. Over time, it became evident that she possessed extraordinary telepathic abilities, including the capacity to communicate with alien craft. 
During experiments, Sarah successfully established telepathic communication with the craft, but suffered temporary unconsciousness as a consequence. However, it gradually became apparent that Sarah was being exploited as a mere tool by the UFO department, enduring torture through various experiments. When John spoke out against these practices, he was subsequently removed from the project. The sinister tentacles creature now sets its sights on John, pulling him into a traumatic memory. The moment his beloved daughter took her final breath due to the alien incident. Disguised as a doctor, the manipulative alien insinuates that John is responsible for his daughter's tragic condition. However, John, recognizing the alien's deceitful game, refuses to fall victim. He confronts the creature, fighting back with determination, and ultimately breaks free from its grasp. Meanwhile, Perry also finds himself ensnared by the alien's trap. As the most courageous among the group, Perry remains steadfast and immune to the alien's influence. Unfazed by fear, he resists and prevails, forcing the alien to eventually concede defeat. Alex, too, faces her darkest moment, a horrifying memory of her father murdering her mother in a fit of rage and then turning his violent intentions towards her. With unwavering support from Alex, she confronts her worst nightmare, takes control, and rescues herself from the clutches of the alien's manipulation. In a twist of fate, John finds himself within a dream crafted by Sarah, who clandestinely communicates with him using her telepathic abilities, hidden from the prying eyes of the alien entity. Sarah discloses shocking revelations. The alien they're facing is not a living being, but a highly advanced artificial superintelligence known as Biomechanoid, essentially an animal-like robot harvesting their energy to open an interdimensional portal. Through this portal, an entire army of biomechanoids could invade the human universe. Furthermore, Sarah unveils the true nature of their spaceship. The spaceship exists at a unique point in time, a time anomaly, enabling it to abduct people from different timelines. In a chilling confession, the alien entity takes control of Sarah's dream, confessing that her mother's infection was no coincidence, but a calculated scheme to create a half-human, half-biomechanoid hybrid. This hybrid would possess an infinite reservoir of genuine energy, a coveted resource for the alien. Confronted with an ultimatum, the alien presents Sarah with a dire choice. She must decide between saving everyone or facilitating the opening of the portal, a task only she can accomplish. As Sarah returns, the black tentacled creature ruthlessly takes Perry's life, wielding a new threat to weaken Sarah by eliminating John and the remaining survivors. The alien menacingly warns John, establishing a connection through Perry's consciousness, promising that soon no one on Earth will remain. However, the alien underestimates Sarah's resolve, knowing she cannot bear to witness the deaths of her companions. In a climactic revelation, the movie reaches its final climax as it's unveiled that the force initially hindering Sarah from opening the door was a future version of herself. Through the connection established between Earth and the alien spaceship, Sarah gains access to the future timeline. Since the spaceship exists at a single temporal point across multiple timelines, the two versions of Sarah are telepathically linked diagonally. Thus, whenever the present Sarah experiences consciousness or unconsciousness, her future counterpart reacts in synchrony. In a pivotal moment, future Sarah realizes that she must allow her past self to open the door to save John's life, despite the risk of unleashing the alien army into the human universe. As the door opens, a wormhole portal materializes, initiating a reversal of events aboard the alien ship. Perry's life is restored as his head reattaches, and Rhonda is revived as well. John comprehends Sarah's sacrifice and pleads fervently to accompany her through the portal. However, Sarah has made her decision. With tearful goodbyes exchanged, Sarah activates the portal, transporting everyone safely back to Earth. To their astonishment, not only are they returned unharmed, but also all the individuals previously abducted by the alien are miraculously restored. Through Sarah's brave act, Earth is saved from the impending threat, and hope is restored to those once lost in the clutches of the alien menace. However, a new threat looms as the aliens imprison Sarah, intending to use her as their main power source and transport her thousands of light years away to fuel multiple alien ships. As the wormhole opens, it becomes apparent that countless alien vessels are poised to make Earth their next home, threatening the extinction of humanity. In the post credit scene, Sarah desperately attempts to contact John in the year 1959, but her efforts are met with limited success. It seems that John, along with the rest of the group, may have been transported to a different timeline. With this intriguing scene, the movie concludes, leaving the door open for a potential upcoming series to explore the further adventures of Sarah, John, and their fight against the alien threat. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. 
See you in next video.